Okay, welcome, welcome everyone. This is our weekly abundance challenge call. Um, so tonight we're going to be talking about keeping up the momentum and then we're also going to have some time to do a check in and hear from everybody here. Um, so would love to hear from you your wins, what's working, um, what are you doing to keep up the momentum it would be great to share ideas. Um, if you haven't yet, Go text your running buddy. Tell them to go join the call. Of course, they can watch the replay, but there's something so special about being here live. Um, and of course, you know, Ashley and I are on here and you can always ask us questions as well. Uh, but this is a perfect time to go um, let your running buddy know that the call is starting. Okay, so tonight we're going to be talking about keeping up the momentum. Okay, and what I mean by this is who had a good November, right? November was freaking awesome. Uh, you probably ranked, re-ranked, hit a major goal, crushed it, had some great holiday sales, right? So how do we keep that momentum going on um, in December? So last week we talked, we talked to you about some strategies to keep up what's going on, right? Like to keep up the, the energy um, from your holiday sales. And I have a few more things to kind of get you ready, especially as we start to tune into um, the second half of the month and then even looking into January. So get your pen and paper, make sure you're ready to take notes. Um, the two biggest things that I would suggest doing right now um, is number one, make sure you're really leaning in and following up with anybody, like any prospects, especially um, who had converted and signed up with you. So any new enrollments that you had in November, especially those during Black Friday and Cyber Monday, this is the time to be leaning in. Um, I think most of you have been building a business for a while, but just in case we've got someone who's a little bit newer, um, Fast Start, you guys. Fast Start is when we're earning 25% right on our new enrollments for the first three months. So if you enrolled someone in November, heck, if you enrolled somebody in October, right? October, November, December, right? Or let's say you enrolled someone in November, you've got December, January, right? You've got three months where you're earning 25% on their orders. This is the time to really be leaning into them. So follow up with them. How are they doing? Did they get their products already? How are they liking it? Do they need some help? Um, do they want any, do they have any questions about setting up a future order? Do they have their holiday list, right? Do they have any gaps where um, they need to order some holiday gifts? There's still time to order holiday gifts, okay? You can do it on um, the standard or the um, expedited shipping and still get it in time. So really be helping them. And something that I like to do, um, tell me if you haven't heard of this before, is helping them to work on a three-month wellness plan. Um, so 90-day plan or a three-month wellness plan, same thing. But in a nutshell, when I have a new enrollment, I ask them questions, right? I say, you know, I'm so happy that you got started with me. Here's our team resources. You know, here's a goodie bag is usually what I give them. And then I say, you know, what are your five major concerns right now? And I give them some suggestions. Is it skincare? Is it digestion? Tell me what you've got going on because I can help you make some suggestions. And then from what they tell me, I can then recommend Young Living products. Again, you really want to lean in because they just got their products. So they're super excited about it, right? The other thing is, again, fast start, you're earning that 25% in the first three months. Young Living is paying you to lean in because they know, right, just from the analytical side of doing sales, the first three months are the most important, especially for new people. So reaching out to them and offering to do a three-month wellness plan, right? Helping them to map out the different products that they need, or maybe someone in their family. Maybe it's a kid, a husband, a mom, somebody who needs help in their family. You can offer them the support and the help, right? To put together a bundle that's going to work for them. So make sure you're really leaning into any new enrollments you had, especially in the last couple of months, right? Fast starts three months, making sure you're following up with them, okay? So I want to hear from you. you guys. Type in the comments who had an enrollment. What are you guys doing? Type in the comments. Um, what are you doing, okay, as follow-up? How are you helping them? Are you doing a three-month wellness plan? Or maybe you've got something else that you do. We want to hear from you, okay? Um, the other thing that I think is really important is really kind of paying attention to 
the timeliness of this time of year. Um, maybe you have some prospects who didn't take advantage of Black Friday, right? Or Cyber Monday. I know it's crazy because they should have hopped on those deals, but I still have someone who just didn't because she was in the process of moving, right? She just couldn't get anything. She was like, I don't have the brain capacity. We're in the process of moving, but she's interested now because she's already moved in. So this is really, again, another time to lean into your prospects and your customers, right? Um, in particular, your prospects. They haven't gotten started yet. Again, wish list. Uh, we talked last call about um, setting up like make and takes, right? We went to a, a great length talking about different make and takes that you can set up. You could even just invite someone over and go, I can help you put something together. Just come on over and we'll, you know, I'll help you and I'll show you how to do things. But if you haven't set up make and takes, make sure you do that and watch our last call where we went into a lot of detail about that. But um, here's the other thing that I think we sometimes forget. I used to work in the corporate world. Guess what we would be doing this time of year? Or like, oh my gosh, I got money in my HSA or my FSA, right? Do you know what this is? It's like a healthcare spending account or a flexible spending account, people often will put money into these accounts to use, right, for various different things. But if they don't spend it by the end of the year, right, calendar year, they lose it. So do you have friends? You might, it might be worthwhile doing some posts, right, or talking about it and go, hey, who's got flexible spending or, um, you know, healthcare spending accounts? You need to use up your funds. A lot of them can use it for essential oils. If not oils, supplements often qualify too. It just depends on the plan. Even if, right, it doesn't apply to them, it's getting them thinking because January is around the corner. Here's another thing to be really thinking about is planning ahead with your January calendar. So like stay strong for December. If you haven't planned to make and take, get it on the calendar, especially during um, the break time, right? Uh, when kids are out of school, that two week break, you guys, people, we talked about this a lot in the last call. People are looking for things to do. They've got their kids. They want to keep their kids preoccupied, do those classes and make and takes. But I also want you to be thinking ahead to January um, because, you know, people are already thinking, all right, I'm going to be doing something, a reset a cleanse, right? A weight loss challenge, be thinking ahead versus thinking reactively on January 1, I need to do something to encourage people. Start thinking about that now. What does that look like? What could, what could you do? And if you've done one before, please type in the comments. We want to hear what's been successful for you and what you've done. Um, but this is, again, a really good time of year to keep up the, the momentum, right? And also help you to get going really strong into January thinking, okay, what is my calendar? What is the thing that I can really dedicate time to? I'm a big uh, Ninja Red reset person. Um, I also kind of like the doing a cleanse type thing, That, but that's my jam, right? For someone else, it might be fitness. For someone else, it might be, you know, eating healthier, maybe taking your multigreens, but finding some way to incorporate, right? Supplements, uh, sleek products, other young living products, and creating some kind of a challenge or a reset, you know, look, here's the thing. We already know during the holidays, people save up all year to buy holiday gifts, right? That's why we offer all these options. We create gift lists. We know in January, everybody starts some kind of reset, right? We all know that. So be thinking ahead for prospects, enrollments, right? But also be thinking for your customers, because guess what? right after Christmas. Um, I don't know about you, but for me personally, um, I find that there's a little bit of a lull. People aren't buying, right, products for gifts anymore. Maybe they've got holiday money. So right after Christmas, if they've got a little extra cash, they're like, okay, I'm getting it. I've been wanting that Aria diffuser, so I'm going to get it now. But here's the thing. Sometimes there's a little bit of that lull. So getting your customers really excited about a reset coming in a couple of weeks, right? In January is going to be a great way to keep up the momentum, especially that second half of December. So really be thinking about it. And if you don't know, brainstorm with your accountability partner or type it into the, into the chat box and let's like talk about some different ideas. Um, something else uh, that I would suggest is 
because there still is time between now and the holidays and like the, the timeline where um, people can get gift products, right, um, through Young Living Shipping, like I said, they can still do, I think the economy, the deadline was today, no, yesterday, no, a couple of days ago, but they can still do standard and expedited. So make sure you're on social media talking about different gift list options, right? Like here are my favorite gifts for kids. Check out this owl diffuser. Look at these little, you know, uh, kid sense oils. Aren't they so cute? But, you know, talking on social media about different gift ideas for kids, for her, for him, right? Different things that people might want. That's going to be a really great way to keep that momentum going, at least through the holidays. And again, even after the holidays, when people have, have got that extra gift money that, may, that they probably got from family or friends, they can use that to get their Young Living products. Okay, so other things that I have here is um, who, I want to know from you guys, um, who actually had, who was able to get people on their team or prospects to host parties over the last couple of months. I wanna hear from you, type it in. Um, so if you had anybody who was a hostess for a class or for an event, make sure you're doing that follow-up, right? Make sure you're sending a thank you note, um, follow up with them, thank them for their business. And here's the thing, great time to be offering, let me know, right? Let's get something up on the calendar, right? You can do it this month or in January. Again, be thinking ahead to the next month, but still kind of keeping that momentum going this month too. And anybody who couldn't do an event, who couldn't be a hostess for the last couple of months, start asking them now, hey, the kids break is gonna come up in a couple of weeks. Do you wanna host something? Why don't we just get some friends together and do some, you know, do a casual make and take? Start asking people. And again, if they can't do it now, January is a great time. Do you know why January is also a really great time to ask people to be hostesses? Mm, let's just think about this. People are spending money, right? What's going to be coming in January? The credit card bill. So people are going to be wanting to find some extra ways to make some money. So here's a really great way to encourage that. Your prospects, your customers, even your brand partners, maybe someone who hasn't been um, hosting classes in a while, this is a great way to do it. So keep doing that through December and then keep going through uh, January as well. Um, something else that I would suggest uh, for keeping up the momentum and really just like keeping your spirits high and something to do as you check in with your running buddy is writing out your 2022 goals. Be thinking, what are your goals for the next year? You know, what do you want to do? What are like your rank goals? What are your income goals? You know, what do you envision for your team? Um, what team size do you want? Maybe thinking about, do you want to do some kind of team event? What is that going to look like? You know, I get really inspired and encouraged just kind of thinking about the future and like all the amazing things that are about to come. We're getting close to closing the chapter in 2021, and I feel like we are really ending it on a high note, um, especially for our business. So be thinking about that. Um, the other thing that I wanted to suggest is, you know, during this time, also be thinking about your personal development, right? What I feel like one of the best things I have ever done for my business and what I even used to do in my former corporate career is I would go and do personal development business training, right? So what is that going to look like for you? You could do things this month. We've got our podcast that we've listed, right? It could be books. It could be doing training. I know many of you like Kristen Boss, right? We suggest a lot of her podcasts that purposeful social, social selling. I know she's doing um, a training at the end of the month. So just be thinking about different things that you could be doing, right? To keep going, right? You or it's like a continual process of getting better and better and better at your craft. Your craft, right, is network marketing. And so getting better and better at it. So be thinking about, you know, what training or what um, podcast you'll be listening to this month. And then what do you plan to do for the next year? Okay. And then finally, before I hand off the baton, um, is looking at your 100 list. I hope you guys crushed those goals with your original 100 list that you made in October. I would love to hear from you. How many of those people 
right, that were on your list became customers or who, how many of them have moved up, right? Maybe they were more of a cold prospect, but now they're more of like a warm or a hot prospect, right? Ready to buy. They're on the fence, ready to do it. Um, update that list, right? And be thinking of new people, right? Get out there and, and think about, okay, who are some new people I can add to this list? Who are some new people that I've just met? Or maybe I haven't met them yet, but I see that salon down the street, or I see, you know, um, that bakery down the street. I would love to make connections with them, maybe talk to them. Um, I know Ashley has talked a lot about partnering with um, like, like uh, different venues, like a wine bar or a brewery. Have you gone out there and made connection with them? Why not start that now? Get the, you know, get the conversation going now and maybe you can plan something for the end of December or plan something, you know, in January, but get those conversations going. Start thinking and uh, literally you guys, like I will Google, I was going to say I opened the yellow pages, but that's not true anymore. You know, I'm just thinking like what I would do like in the old days, right? Like open the yellow pages and look at wine bars, but you can go on Google and look at what are wine bars in my area, breweries in my area or other venues that might be a good partner with you where you're bringing in the people and they are providing the venue for you to be hosting classes. So that was a lot. I hope that's helping and I can't wait to go through the comments, but I wanted to invite Ashley to come in. Tell me, what am I missing? What else do you suggest in adding and, and getting the momentum going for the rest of the month and going into January? Um, I don't want to say it any more from an honest standpoint than I've been feeling it tonight, but for me, the time freedom that I have all year long is the most felt this month and the hardest for me to work and not resist the urge to give into like all the fun. And that might sound really, you're like, Ashley, that's your advice. It is my advice. Cause here's the thing, especially if you have a traditional job, like, especially if you have a nine to five or whatever hours it is, and this is your you know side hustle or part-time hustle, or you're working towards making this your income. I will tell you, it's really easy this month. Like really freaking easy. You know, we had a Christmas thing last night and then tonight we went to a drive through living nativity and tomorrow night we're going to Christmas town at Bush gardens and Saturday I'm going to a brunch with friends. I'm making Christmas cookies at another friend's and I'm going to babysit some friends, kids, then go to holiday. Like, I don't know if that's you, but for me, I say yes, this time of the year, more than any other time. I'm not saying no to my business. I want to be very clear, but it's very easy for me to like, right? Like make cookies and wrap presents during the time I should be working. And then those social activities kind of get the high priority. And it's not that that's wrong, but I just want to caution you. Like people are urgent, even if holiday shipping is kind of over. And what I mean by that is I had three people today contact me that want oils and that's awesome. I'm not going to close them. Like I'm not going to close them by tomorrow, but, and they're going to rush order and get it by Christmas. Like I'm, I'm not. And I'm saying that because there are people that they have a lot of health concerns. It's definitely gonna take a lot of work for me to get there. I know we're talking about keeping the momentum, but I want to just be really clear with you. Don't give up and wait for 2022 and wait for this, like, oh, well, it's okay if my paycheck sucks, you know, for December. Like, it's okay. <laughs> January would be good. November was good. It's totally fine. Because here's the thing. If your paycheck is 20% lower this month, next month, it's not going to be 20% back. You're not going to gain 20%. You might gain 10. So when you slide back and then you take a step forward, it totally is that mentality of like, one step forward, two steps back. And in your business, it shows. And it shows to your relational connection. It shows to your paycheck. And it definitely shows to your new members. And I'm saying that to you guys, because I, I didn't, I'm not enrolling a ton of people right now. Um, maybe I should say it's because it sounds awkward. But for everyone here, I've had two months out of almost eight years where I've enrolled no one. And they were like the most depressing months of my life. Tracy, can you be a... <laughs> Tracy's my enroller. She's seen that. And I'm saying that to you guys, because last month, I was really excited about three people that I enrolled. I'm still really excited about them, but that was a decent amount for me. And if you're not like me and you're like crushing it with 20 a month, that's awesome. With 50, hundred, that's awesome. For me, my goal every month is to bring in new people who love our products. This month, what I'm doing to love and serve them is that I am intentionally, I've sent out um, two different mailings and post, just postcards. I'm not doing a holiday card this year. It is a huge, tremendous, undertaking for my business. It's a, 
huge burden in my family. I'm just being honest to send out an actual card where I have to like handwrite it and mail it. Some did some diffuser postcards. I would suggest if you have two people on your team or 20, you do that. The reason that will help you keep the momentum going is that you'll be excited. And when you're excited, you are like that spark that people are going to see and they're going to want to be on fire with you. So like send out some holiday swag, send out some holiday postcards, be excited. And I know I did a live video the other night. I know not all of you are in our group, but it, it was a live video about doing in-person events for the holidays. Your new members want to see you being active. So if that's however you enrolled them is how you should also be spending your energy this month working. So for me, and I will raise my hand and say, I've been working my butt off to prove to myself that in-person mattered in the past six months. Is anybody with me? I know some of y'all are. Like, like I like online. I do online. Most of my peeps are online, but like, I don't believe in person is dead. Like I, I will not, but I am, I will not believe that. Like, I'm not going to believe that because I'm not also believing that COVID has ruled our lives. Like, I'm just not, I'm not buying into the lie. This is the new normal. Like I'm, I'm not. And if you're not with me, it's totally fine. But for me and my family, I'm not believing that the normal is masks in schools. I'm not believing the normal is social distancing and not having in-person events. And this is not a political statement. This is a simply like, I'm not believing that for my business. And for me, I'm believing I will sell out events. I'm believing people will return to a normal. I'm believing that faith over fear will be the ruler. And by that, even if I have to basically hang on to the, you know, trailer hitch of a truck and drag myself down the road, like on this, on this truck that I'm not going to die on. I'm not dying on it because people need relational connection. And the reason I said that to you is guys, if you enrolled someone in person last month, not in the class, but like the people I enrolled were from seeing a post online, but they're people I know in person. And that's like the name of my game for the for past eight years. Is anyone else like that? Like I see you in the, like, I see you in the PTA. I see you at the swim team. I see you at church. We're not tight, but you see me post some things online and you comment. And then I follow through. And that's how I enroll probably 90% of the people I do. So if that is you, or if you're in an in-person where you actually enroll people in person with real people, right? Both these things are really important. They believe in you and they bought you. Mm -hmm. They did. They didn't think that you were some online celebrity. They actually really probably thought you were not a big deal at all. They thought you were like the chick that's two rows in front of them at church, like the chick they saw in your robe and your slippers at the bus stop, or the chick they saw eating Doritos last week, and then this week was being healthy, whatever you are. You have to show up for them the same way. So like you're the chick that calls after they get their kit and asks how it's going. You're the chick that asks if they know how to put the roller fitments on their oils. You're the chick that knows that wants to ask if they know how to use the diffuser to the fill line. You're the chick that personally calls them to say, I have these events this month. Here's the thing. We have to think less of ourselves and more of the people that we bring into this business. Do they think we're the hero right now? Like we enrolled them, we're like, woo, yes, we're so fun. But really they're so fun, right? In a cheesy sounding way, but like, they're awesome. They're the ones with a family of one person, two people, three people, five people, 10 people. Like they're, they're the person whose life is going to be changed. And if I don't allow for me personally, I don't allow God to work through me in that, then I end up making it really like, of course they should show up for the Zoom. I end up in my head, like, of course they should have seen that post. Like they're plugged in. They got the email. They got the PV. They knew about it. And that's never words that come out of my mouth, but it's thoughts that occur in my head. And if you've, you've been around me, you've heard me say it before, the most important words that come out of our own mouths um, are, are, are the words that we hear back to ourselves. The words we say are the most important all day. And that, that is so true. So whatever you're believing about this month compared to last month, about the new brand partners you brought in, the new, the new celebrity customers you brought in, whatever they are, make them rock stars this month. Like those 500 PV orders, you might get paid out a great amount, but here's the thing. If you worked with that person for their gut health and you worked with them for sleep goals and you worked with them on like revamping their beauty cabinet, like you serve them so well. You serve them. And we get paid off of how we do that, right? It's awesome. 
So don't let December be a month that you don't serve well and a month your paycheck sucks because those two things go together. So if you rocked last month, remember, be consistent this month. Um, last thing I'll say, because I just think it's a little bit funny. I don't like any kind of doctor's appointments. I, um, if you are a medical professional, I love and respect you. I don't like exposing, like I have a lot of things that like, I don't like to tell people are wrong and they're wrong. So I don't love them. Like, it doesn't make me feel good. I'm not happy. I'm not like, let's just go and tell people our lives and it'll be awesome. So today I don't know what happened to my life, but I had to do a blood draw for my, I go to a functional medicine doctor and she had um, enough blood things requested for me with 18 vials of blood. And I was like, no big deal. It's totally fine. I think you're a vampire, but it's fine. And it was at 7 a.m. And I hate, I hate it. Like it makes me nauseous. I hate it. fasting, blood work, all the things. And then I had a tooth that I cracked 15 years ago that needed to get basically, let's just be real, fixed, which means like stand it down, crap placed on it, like a, an art project in my mouth, right? Like that's what needed to happen. Fine. And then my husband, who is amazing and wanted to love and serve me, was like, we have an appointment at the good foot store for your foot. And I'm like, no, I don't, I don't want to go to any good feet stores. We don't need that all today. So all day long, I'm like, this is like rigid. Like it feels, my point is it feels defeated. It feels like it feels small because I don't like it and it's vulnerable. And like, it just is not my favorite point being said of that is people who have told you their health stuff. And then you ghost them the next month, like guys, they're out. Like it made them feel so like I felt so vulnerable today going and giving my blood worksheet to this random phlebotomist because basically it's like all of my health crap on the sheet of paper and she's like how are you and I'm like mm, really great really good basically basically you know like I literally didn't want to look at her so I'm like it's just need some things to take some things from my body like it'll be fine and I did not look at her literally well because I hate needles but I also didn't look at her because it looked like I was jacked up. If she asked me what's going on with my body, I wanted to be like, I am healthy. I sell oils for a young living. I am a healthcare official. Like I wanted to say something really like, I know things, but I didn't feel like that. And like, same thing, maybe y'all aren't with me. Same thing when they gave me the numbing shot in my mouth at the dentist. She is enrolled in my team. They sell oils and mouthwash in their practice. So when she's like, open your mouth and I'm like, I'm so afraid of needles. They hurt my body so bad. I throw up point of me saying that to you is if someone last month told you that they needed help because they're not pooping every day and you gave them supplements to help them do that. And then you haven't talked to them in two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, like they're not going to want to come back to you because I am, I, I'm, I'm sincerely saying it with an open heart to you. I had three and that's like enough for a year for me. Like I'm all good now that I like, if that person, like if my doctor doesn't follow up with me to really gently with the blood test results. I'm not going to love her. Like I'm going to feel really awkward. And my dentist will call me. I guarantee they will call me tomorrow. I'm like, how's your tooth? Like my tooth doesn't feel bad, but they'll just be like, how are you? And I'm like, I'm good to go. Oh, whatever. And the girl, home girl trying to sell me $2,000 orthotics that I didn't buy. I'm sure I am a hundred percent sure. She will text me every day until I buy the orthotics. Right. Cause here's the thing we need, we need not just follow up to buy something, but we need follow-up after we've bought it to make sure that we are still secure in that decision we've made. Like we're secure. We have planted our roots in this natural health path. And if I see that like thieves cleaner, maybe to make it right, it's not working well. And man, I'm going back to my homeboy Clorox and Tracy never calls me that my Clorox, I am, I will dump the $27 of the bottle out down the drain. And I will use my Dollar Tree, Dollar 25 tree, Clorox all dang day and not feel bad because Clorox never let me down. And I'm sorry if I'm making this so extreme, but I just want to paint the picture to you guys because I have to do this for myself because I, during this time of year, want to like watch Elf. That's a lie. I don't like to sit down. I want to pretend like I want to watch Elf, but really I want to like bake, be with friends, go see lights. Like I want to do all those things. And I do do them. But my business has to be a priority because it is the way I provide for my family. And even if that's not how you provide for your family yet, it is a way you supplement the income that you make in another way with the, for you, your spouse, partner, whatever, to provide some sort of pathway that's different. It's different. And it requires us to work. And working just looks different in the season. And we can do it. It's important. It's really important to love and serve those people we've brought in. So Tracy, I always talk too much and I'm sorry, but I was excited. And hopefully 
my random stories hit your heart a little bit. And you're like, I feel that like, I feel what it feels like to not be followed up with maybe before I'm done. Sorry. Raise your hand. If you've ever bought something that's like a little bit, like it requires some help. Like <laughs> You bought it and then no one talks to you again. Oh, I took it. Yep. And they might not, they might be straight retail. Like I bought carbon plated shoes for a race I did and I bought them straight retail for my favorite running store. Only like, I didn't know when to wear them. I mean, I looked, I Googled it. My point was I, I felt very like I bought this expensive item and you gladly took the credit card for it. And then I had them in my, you know, under my bed. I looked at them and they're real pretty cost a lot of money. And I didn't know when that like, okay, so when do I wear those things? Mm -hmm. Yep. Maybe it's a skincare product, a supplement, especially those things. Maybe it's a piece of clothing. So if it's, if it's you and you're like, I bought this piece of clothing, here's the thing. Why do you, pe why do you think people pay for services like Stitch Fix? So they have a person they can talk to or have a personal shopper. I've never done those two things, but guys, if I like to close more, you dag them right, I do it. You know why? Service. Why do we go to Chick-fil-A and Starbucks? Anybody? Because they're not even good. <laughs> like they're not even good. <laughs> Sorry if I offend anyone, but like they're really not that good. But they're so happy, consistency, they are welcoming, they have rewards programs, and they, they call us by name on their apps. They do. I open up the Chick-fil-A app and it's like, good evening, Ashley. I'm like, good evening to you. I don't like your food, but my kids don't fight when they have it. Literally. Yeah. Just think about it a little bit. Being Switzerland and always being neutral is not the name of the game in our business. Like it's a fun way to live your life if you're around a bunch of political debates. Maybe you don't like that, but for me, it's a fun way to live because you're Switzerland, you don't know that silent, but you're just kind of Switzerland. But in our business, we're not. We have to follow up. We can't send someone our link and send them a welcome package and then and go away. Let's do the hard work and let's love and serve people like never before, especially during the season as we continue the rest of our year. The most important month of the year, finishing strong is so much harder than starting strong and we can do it. Ashley, I feel like you really touched on so many good things, but also like the consistency, right? Like, I feel like the consistency, the expectation on the other side of that person, right? So like when you start out strong and then you fizzle out, that gives them the expectation. Well, this is just how it's going to be. She's only going to contact me when she wants a sale or she wants something. But when you are consistently following up, right, you started strong and you're you're maintaining that, right? Every single month you're checking in. How's it going with the wellness plan? Do you need to make any adjustments? How can I help you, right? They know that it's not just a sale. They know the sale was just the entry point, but that you're really committed going forward. And again, Fast Start, you guys, Fast Start compensates you for this, right? To really lean in, especially for those first three months, but continuing on after that as well. So please definitely make sure um, you're being really consistent. Um, so if you started out strong, like keep that momentum going. Okay, so you heard a lot from us as far as tips and ways to keep up the, moment, the momentum. We want to hear from you guys. Tell us what you're working on, right? How are you keeping up the momentum what do you have planned for the rest of December and going into January? We want to get some ideas from you. So we would love to invite you to come in and tell us. Who's got something to share? I'll share. We'd love to hear from you. Um, I'm going to take Ashley's advice from last week, I think it was, where I make it, uh, you take it something that I make it, you take it. I can't remember exactly, whatever it was. And, and uh, cause I had a bunch of DIYs and some people couldn't come, but they were interested and they kept on, the conversation kept on going. And then while I was walking, Peaches who just surprised me and jumped on my lap. Uh, this morning I saw a neighbor who had said, oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't come to any of your DIYs. They sounded fun. And I said, well, I'm gonna keep my table up for a while cause I still have to make teacher gifts. So feel free to just come over whenever. So I'm hoping to 
get some gifts together and then advertise them along with my elderberry syrup that I've made. So hopefully that will at least start some conversations, if not having some people get some oils in every home, in some homes. I'll share. Yes, please, Kathy, go for it. Okay. Thanks, Allison. Um, yes, thank you, Allison and Ashley and Tracy. Really, I'm taking a lot of notes. Um, I, I was one of those that had a very good month in uh, November and trying to keep that momentum up. I really love the abundance challenge and I've been uh, keeping up with the IPAs and such and listening to podcasts. I love those. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so we're taking a crew down to Tracy's house, December 11th, keeping the momentum going. And a lot of, lot, I'm really big on um, several ways of reaching out. I like good old fashioned phone call. I like getting phone calls and I make phone calls and that has been really effective. Um, I re, what do you call it? Anyway, my hairdresser had gone inactive and we brought her membership back last month. And a lot of times people don't tell me what they order. And when they, we talk about a wellness plan and so they don't tell me what they order, they do their own thing. But two of them, one orders for um, bone health. And I talked to her on the phone about how things are working and, She's been very consistent and my hairdresser wanted for her uh, because she has a lot of pain from her job. She, we touched on to get started mega cal and amino wise and she loves it. She's taking it consistently. She feels the difference. Um, she's been taking it for three weeks and she, I talked to her on the phone. She really likes it. So, you know, I really, it really touched me, Ashley, all your, um, you know, that we are responsible when, uh, when we, it's not about me anymore. I mean, it should be, but it's not, <laughs> I'm kidding. But um, anyway, so I really like that suggestion. I've also said yes to two cookie baking parties, which I would make any excuse to get out of a cookie baking party um, but I'm going to go around and be the cheerleader, I think, and I'll bring my own. I don't even know. I'll I think I'll bring my pre-made dough and just, uh, there's only one person in the group out of two of them that do oils. And then, you know, but I, I'm a social butterfly, but I not into the baking, the cookie thing, but I am going to do it. And because of these calls, I'm saying yes to everything. And then I'm having an in-home. I love the in-home. I mean, I love the person to person. You know, um, I love it. I like online, but I really love, and I'm like, Ashley, I don't think, I mean, I'm not done with the, I will always do the in-person. I'm having a class here December 19th, and we're doing it with four brand partners. Myself, Linda Tucker, um, a girl that just signed up. Um, she didn't want to have anything at her house. So I said, hey, I'll do it at my house. You invite. I'm opening up my house, December 19th. So, and then another girl, Holly. So there's four of us that are doing an in-house, in-home, my house on December 19th. So we're really trying, you know, and I, I'm i calling, how's the inviting going? You know, I made these little flyers for everybody's special invitation from so-and-so, you know, to come to this 101 and then we'll have, you know, it'll evolve into organically and whatever. So, you know, those are the things off the top, the, the key points that I'm doing to keep the momentum going. Um, I understand business and how the, you know, I don't want to take a couple steps back and expect to, you know, kill it. And I like keeping in touch with people. I think it's extremely, I love it. I love helping people. I love teaching. I love following up and seeing how it's going because it is, we are helping people change their lives and I'm here, you know, I am here and I'm not going anywhere. So, um, 
you know, this call has really touched my heart. So thank you. And, and thanks for listening. Oh, that was so good, Kathy, Allison too. Oh my gosh, loved hearing that. And you know what? I'm with you, right? Like I'm not always into every party, but this is like the opportunity to say yes, especially because there is so much going on. So love that. And you know what? I actually am going to a cookie party on Sunday now that you mention it. And I had a girlfriend, not in oils, but she was like, I don't know if I should go because I'm not going to be making my own cookies. I'm like, just make the, get the pre-made dough and just get it pre-made just say it was yours or put it in a nice box. Nobody's going to judge you. Just come to the party. So I love that's such a great reminder that you don't have to be the Susie homemaker who's like good at everything. It's okay, right? You can just buy the pre-made stuff and just put it in a box and it's all right. So thank you so much for that. Kathy is saying if you do dough, you should put lime in the cookies. That would be good. I love that suggestion. Okay, who else has something to share? We love hearing from you. What else do you have planned to keep up the momentum for the end of December and going into January? Don't be shy, come on in. Yeah, Allison says she's got a dessert thing at church too. <laughs> I love it, peppermint bark, that's good. I can share. Would love it. Thanks, Becky. Hey, um, we, my runner and myself, she was supposed to be here tonight, but she can't. We are doing a Christmas bingo Friday night. Um, it's Zoom and um, it, we're opening up to the public. We have done a few bingos in the past and have gotten really good response where we've done oily bingos and had everybody push it out. We do charge either five or $10 because obviously we're giving good gifts but um, we do already have a good interest. I think we have close to 10. At one point, we've had a bingo a few months ago. We had like 30 people on the bingo and it was awesome. Total fun, I will say. Um, so that's something we have this week. And then we're trying to kickstart a reset or new year, new you, something. So we're on all that, so. Thanks for sharing, Becky. Can you tell us a little bit more about the bingo? Like, how have you set it up? How do you invite people to it? Is it prospects? Is it customers? Sure. Yeah, it's everything. So we open it up to all our business people and tell them to push the heck out of it and promote it to pretty much, I mean, it's open to our customers, but we really want non-customers to it because it's all essential oils. It's products and oils. And then I use a Google form to let them sign up. So, and then it has the two links where they can pay um, me so that I can know that they've paid. And then it's through Zoom. You can also do them in person too. But if you do it through Zoom, there's a bingobaker.com that does the whole bingo cards for you. It randomizes them. It gives you the cards and you just send them the link. It's awesome. And I actually playing, you do everything online. You can exit out. They can clear their cards, start new games. It makes it super easy and I type in what I want. So everything's oils, everything's products. This time we're doing everything holiday. We came up like words, like everything's holiday words. We, so we did um, frost, but we're gonna talk about savvy and makeup and frosting yourself. And so we were trying to make it different, but really fun this time, all holiday themed. We have um, red, of course, we're gonna talk about nature red, um, but we all, we used holiday words in the bingo cards and it's all gonna be essential oils. Um, but it's pretty easy and it's really fun and people like to play and it's like 30 minutes or less, depending on how many people you have come play. So that sounds so fun. What are you typically charging for a point of entry? And does that pretty much co cover all of your cost? Well, we've done $10 in the past, um, which depending on how many people sign up has covered, um, the cost. We usually have all of our business builders donate something to do giveaways. So that way the cost is not all on me, even though I have tons of extras in my bag. That I don't mind pulling out and donating. But so the cost, it's either my extras and then I use the cost to pay for shipping. And then we do a Grand Prix shopping spree at the very last bingo card, depending on how many people signed up. And that could be anything from 
$25, $50 for them to shop either to get a new Young Living account or on their current Young Living account. Um, and that's gone really well too. Um, so, but usually it's $10. Uh, this week we're doing five just because we're going to kind of scale it down and just make it holiday and just try to get as many new people as we can. So. I love it. What a great idea. Thank you so much. There's like lots of questions in here. Like, how is she doing it? Is it on Zoom? It's so good. So this is like a great way. See, aren't these classes so, aren't these uh, calls so good so you can learn? And then they're wondering, how do you gift the prizes? Will you figure out the winners and then do you have them fill out a form and then send them, you just make, drop it in the mail for them? Yeah. And they fill out the Google form to tell me they want to play. That's where they have to put their address in. That's where I get all their contact information so I can follow up after bingo saying, hey, even if they didn't win, thank you for playing. Do you have any questions? You know, do you have any questions about essential oils? So that Google form is that that's how they play. That's all the information. Their address is in there because it says provide your address. So when you win, I can send your price. And then, yeah, I just mail it um, afterwards. We just ship it out to them. So and it's it's on Zoom. We've been doing them all on Zoom. Super fun, super easy. Um, I would love to do some in person, but right now we've just been doing them in Zoom and they've been successful, so. Becky, you're like giving me all kinds of ideas here. I'm wondering if anybody has done an oily bingo, like for a, like, gen, like mostly for a prospecting audience, like who has done like those sample classes, right? We've done sample six or like we've done these sample classes, right? And we give them like these little samples from like the kit. I could totally see this being like a bingo type thing, right? But instead of like maybe a, an entry, it's like maybe a couple of little samples, you get them in, but as you're playing the bingo, you're like educating them. So they're kind of learning it in a different way. So who's done this? Bridget, have you done it? Can, can you talk? <laughs> or you, Bridget, you're saying, I wanna do it. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Um, no, no, no. I did the sample classes. I've never done the bingo. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Don't you okay. think this could work for like, a, it's like a, a, a different take on a samples class, but doing it through bingo. You're giving me all kinds of ideas now, Becky. So I'm thinking we need, some of us need to break out and do like a big oily bingo. <laughs> I'm really excited because I move around so much that I, I do everything online. So I don't seem to be, yeah, I, I'm so excited about this. I have done with a different company I was in, we did bingos all the time live and they were extremely successful. Yeah, this is exciting. I love it. Did anyone else have something to add? Oh, that's so good. Okay, so I feel like some of us are gonna be breaking out into figuring out how we're gonna be doing this. Um, so let's keep using like the group, right? The Abundance Challenge group and go, who did an oily bingo? Let's talk. I will tell you that sample six or the samples class where I, I've done this, where it's the, the premium starter kit and I'll send them like literally, it was like, oh my goodness poke me with the, a needle in my eye because I was making like little samples of each of the oils. And then I learned after the first time, I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing that again. I'm going to send three oil samples, right? And we'll talk about all of them, but I'm just going to really hone in on the three. That's the three that you get. Um, but they were great. I know we have several people on our team who have had a lot of success with them. In fact, I know there's a few on our team. I think it's Kristen who actually ranked up to executive in November many of the people that she was enrolling were from her samples, right? Like it was still going on months afterwards, but just like the bingo that Becky was talking about, they're filling out a form, they're giving you their info. So you can keep prospecting them even after the event or invite them to another event, right? At some point, it's going to be their time to be ready. So I love it. Yeah, really good. Really, really good. Thank you. So we've got about 10 minutes left. Anyone else have something to share about keeping momentum strong, a strategy, something that they're working on, or got a question for us? We're here for you.
Okay, that's it. Is that it? <laughs> just giving you, I'll give you the gift of time, but just then we're here if you have questions, but I also get it. Yes, this was so good. So, so good. Thank you everybody for contributing and sharing your ideas and what you're doing. Um, it really inspires all of us, right? We get so many great ideas from each other. So thank you for doing that. Keep posting in the group. Um, also wanted to hear from you. How is it going co-hosting your own one-on-one classes? That was the big challenge. That was the big shift we did for December. You can even type in the comments. Are you co-hosting classes? Did you have anything yet? Have you done anything yet? It's okay if you haven't, it's, you know, being real, but make sure you get that on the calendar. Um, but that was the big shift. I'm just looking. I know, I think Hannah and Anushka actually did a class together. So congrats to you too. Yeah, it's okay, Allison. I know things come up, it's okay. We still have plenty of time in December to be doing those classes. So just be sure you check in with your running buddy or if your running buddy isn't available, find someone else, cross line, up line, down line, someone in the abundance challenge group, say, I need someone to co-host classes with who's available. You know, there's going to be someone in there who wants to do it. Say, I want to do oily bingo. Who's in? I'm sure you'll get like 50 responses right now. <laughs> Teresa, yes, doing a one, uh, a DIY with some friends. Awesome girl. I can't wait to hear how it goes. We want to hear from you, okay? Keep us posted. Okay, great, everyone. If there's no other questions or feedback, thank you so much for being with us tonight. You guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you. You guys rock. Keep that momentum strong. Okay, so next week, right, I believe we're still on a Thursday. We're still on a Thursday next week. Thank you, thank you. We'll see you. We're going to be doing more strategy. Okay, you guys, thank you. You can save the chat. We'll have the recording up available too. Thanks guys, have a great night.